Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Very happy to have you here in Poland with me. I'm on vacation with my wife and my dog. We travelled over the ferry through France, through Belgium, through the Netherlands, through Germany to our final destination here in Poland. And as you can see, I brought the most important things in my life with me. My wife, uh, my dog, but my baby, my guitar here, my John Mayer, my GM, OMGM. Um, and it's very good that I've got this guitar because this little piece, this little acoustic blues piece that I'm going to share with you that's so much fun to play, by the way, is really inspired by the John Mayer solo uh, acoustic gig that I was at last week. If anyone has seen that, he's been touring all over the place doing it. It's amazing what this guy can do with an acoustic guitar. 20,000 people for a couple of hours. Unbelievable. And of course, this is one of the guitars he's using. So I feel very blessed to have this baby and I've been having so much fun with this piece. So there's a lot of John Mayer rhythms in this. So if you like John Mayer, then you should, you should like this lesson, hopefully. Anyways, let's fire right into it. So we've got this little blues piece uh, with this main motif running through it. Right, so what are we doing here? Now I'm thinking, if you know the song something like Olivia, I'm taking some ideas from that here. We've got this shape, all right, which I love to use. It's very John Mayer. And what I'm doing here basically is I've got my first, it's an A chord. All right, I've got my first finger on B on the fifth fret, middle finger on G on the sixth fret, my third finger on D in the seventh fret. And I've got my thumb over here on the fifth fret as well. All right, my thumb kind of mutes this A. But even if you didn't, that'd be fine, because that's an open A, all right, which does that anyway. It just uh, kind of naturally mutes it. And my index finger is muting the low E, the high E, sorry. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide in it, I'm going to strum down, all right, you can do it really from anywhere. Like that, just... And then a little upstroke, and then a, a little slap like that. Alright, and then I'm going to be using A major pentatonic to come up with a few licks. So just a little quick visualization, right? The notes that I'm going to be visualizing are shaped to pentatonic. You've got a 7, 5, 7, 5, 6. This slides down into shape 1 pentatonic to 4. Alright, so I've got shape 1 here. Uh, but using the A note is A major, pentatonic. All right, so I'm, I'm visualizing that shape, but sliding into this shape here, which matches this chord. All right, hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna do this little lick here, right? I'm sliding in my middle finger to six on the G, five five on the B, and then hammer on. 5 to 7 on the B. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. A different leg. Alright, I'm going to slide right in on the B string to 7. 5, middle finger on 6 on the G. 4, 2, and then 2 on the D. Alright, but the way I do that, you need to roll over so. I kind of land here, my finger, not on the tip, so I can roll over to 2 in the D there. And sometimes I like to palm mute it a little bit. Like that, gives it a, a cool effect as well. So. And then I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to come in to a D sus2. So basically we're playing a blues. So we've got an A, a D, and an E are the chords we're going to be using, right? So four bars in A, then I'm going to come in to a D. And back into the A part, right? And there I'm just using a D sus2. Getting the bass though, up, down, then a... Adding my pinky, my middle finger onto the third and second fret. And then 
and back enter again. <clears throat> alright, and then I'm going to come into the E chord, alright, the final uh, four bars. Alright, so what I did there, again, I, um, if I come back to it. Low E, and then into the E. Again, I've got my pinky here. Three, two, open. And then... This little shape, alright, so this is a really cool uh, bluesy technique where we go from the A shape here, then we hammer on with our middle finger to two, uh, three on the uh, the G and uh, D4, alright. And this is basically a little triad inversion of the C shape for D, alright, so we're basically just going to a D chord. So I'm taking this D shape, sliding it up two frets. This is an E shape, D, E, to this A shape triad in the seventh fret, which is a D. All right, so. And then we're going to finish it off. So we're going to slide back down and then back into the main lick. And then we're going to finish it off with this little E, e major lick here, right? So we've got 5, 3, 2, uh, 5, 4, 2, 5, 3, 2. And then hammer on from 2 to 3 on the B, back to 2 and 4 on the G. Then one more time, and then we're gonna slide from four to five and back. That's a little blue note, and back to two. And then into the main chord. Now, um, a little technique I'm adding in is I'm raking like this. I get my pinky over, and this is a bit of a more advanced technique. I got my pinky if I could do it myself. My pinky over the B, and I kind of rake into that five in the E. And then the same kind of thing here, except I'm using my thumb to kind of rake into that that note there. And then that's it. So we'll have a little recap. You can see the whole thing. Uh, before I do, guys, if you've made it to this. Uh, part of the lesson if you can make sure you, you like it and you subscribe if you haven't already and you check out my stuff I've got if you like all this kind of stuff um, Then I've got a full bundle that's 70% off right now with all my courses You can get that in the description or if you want to work with me privately um, If you are already you've got the basics down and you're ready to really unlock the fretboard Learn about keys and triads and the connection between chords and licks so that you're able to do all this stuff and you'll be able to, to make it up on your own without having to copy, then apply and um, you can work with me privately over 12 weeks. All right, so that's it, guys. Let's have a little recap and I'll see you in the next one.